the G spine promised an improvement of about 20% for Ballyfermot and Cherry Orchard. Um, we've seen the same problems that everyone's highlighting here decline in service, ghost buses, buses full, driving past bus stops. Um, we've talked a lot about the bus, the, the lack of drivers, but I want to dig in more into the timing, the running times of the routes. The routes. Because uh, it's my understanding the drivers were, are saying now and warned before that running times were inadequate, which is what leads to poor service, but also uh, would indicate poor planning. So services then, one of the knock-ons of this is services are being redirected so that a bus will bypass a large chunk of its route or will bypass Ballyfermot so that it can be on time in the G-spine in at its Spencer Dock terminus, which leads to the ghost buses, which leads to the RTPI being inaccurate. So all these problems we're talking about, are, there's a much deeper thing than just the lack of drivers. Um, so what I'd like to know is how were the running times calculated? Who decides them? On what basis? What feeds into them? What feeds into that decision? Um, were the drivers consulted? Um, the people who actually know these routes, were they consulted? What can be done now, if the if the things like congestion impacting on the running times, what can be done now to improve bus priority? But then also, one of the issues here is if the running times are too short, are we adequately accounting for driver welfare when we're coming up with these running times? Are we giving the drivers enough time at the end to find a toilet, to stretch their legs? We know sitting for too long is a problem. You know, are we, is driver welfare adequately factored into the running times? You mentioned earlier there were problems with the running times on the C-spine, the opposite, that, that they were too long. So it seems to me that there's a problem with how these running times are calculated. And are you looking at reforming that process or, or improving that process. Equally, I would agree with some of the comments that Deputy Smith made, particularly when we see that the, the just this kind of messy thing between um, setting the running time, setting the, the recruiting the drivers, providing the buses, and then back to someone else to set the timetables. When you have two or three agencies trying to decide this problem, no wonder there's there's mistakes being made. But will you be looking at equally, you know, pushing ahead the rollout of the spines without the quality of the core bus corridors? facilitating the spines to run smoothly, I think it was a questionable decision. But certainly, will you be looking at improving the running time? Will you be consulting more with the drivers who are the, perhaps the experts at the running time since they're the ones driving the actual buses?